In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Curve Number Generator Toolbox to generate curve number raster and polygons for your study area. Before getting started with the toolbox, I'm going to show you what kind of input data you need to be able to run the toolbox. So the first thing is a land use shapefile. You need to have a layer of land use shapefiles, like what you can see over here. This shapefile has a column called grid code that stores all the code related to different um, land uses that exist in my area. For example, 11 is open water, so on and so forth. The other thing that you need is soil, your soil data or soil data shapefile. Um, what you need, what your soil data needs is a column that specifies hydrologic soil groups like you can see over here if i turn this off these are the hydrologic soil groups in my study area it is totally fine if your soil data has groups a slash d b slash d c slash d you will be able you'll be able to uh, reallocate these these values to the values that you want to in the toolbox and eventually what you need is a lookup table. I'm going to show you how that lookup table is going to look like. The first column, LU value, is going to be your land use code or grid code. You can see right over here. The first column is going to be class. And then you're going to have A, B, C, D. And under each, you're going to write the value of curve number corresponding to every single land use value and soil hydro soil hydro groups. For example, if you have pasture in your study area and for that specific area your curve number is B, then the model knows that it should assign the value of 61 to um, curve number. Okay, this is how um, it this is how this lookup table is going to be used in the background of the model, the toolbox. All right. So then you need to have the toolbox. Um, I'm going to show you. So this is the toolbox that's called Curve Number Generator. I have put a link to my website that gives you a link to download this uh, specific toolbox. Once you download the toolbox, you can add it to the list of your toolboxes, and then you can open it and run it. So the first thing that you need to do, you need to specify a working directory, and I'm going to uh, do that right over here. So let's first of all, there we go. I'm going to define a working directory, whatever folder that you want to. I've created a folder um, and then um, created a test folder inside that. Then you need to specify the soil shape file. Specifically, I'm going to specify this one. So I am going to bring this over here. My soil data is this. And then you need your land use. My land use data is LU clip. All right. Then you need to specify which field specifies the hydro group in your soil data. So I know in my soil data that the field that is called this specifies the hydro groups in my soil shapefile. And similarly, you need to specify which field in your land use data specifies the land use numbers. For me, it's grid code, so I put it over here. Then you need to link into the lookup table. Um, the link to lookup table, just to save some time, I'm going to copy and paste it over here. If you want to create a raster, you need to specify the cell size that you want the curve number raster to be generated. I want to say 100. In my case, this 100 is going to be meters because my land use and soil types, they both have the X and Y units in meters. Now here, it gives you the opportunity if you have any A sub D, B sub D, and C sub D um, soil classifications, you can classify them to whatever you want to. I am going to classify them to D, which means that that area is not um, properly drained. All right. Once everything is specified, then you can run the model and all everything will be stored in this test folder. And eventually you're going to end up having your curve number polygon and curve number raster over here. To see it a little bit better, I'm going to turn this off and then run the model. You can see that in the background, the model is working to be able to generate the polygon and the raster. And eventually, it will do it for you. And it creates that 
right over here. So I am going to turn off this, and then you can see that when you zoom out and zoom in, it this is the curve number raster generated for me. Each value represents a curve number. So for example, you can tell that this um, the orange over here is highly if that corresponds to this one, it corresponds to that curve number value of 100, and so on and so forth. If you don't want the raster curve number, that's totally fine. There is another polygon curve number generated for you over here. If I go to the attribute table, you can see that the curve number is right over here. For example, if I select this, you will see that the curve number for that area is 89. All right, so this is how you can use the uh, SCS curve number generator toolbox in ArcGIS Pro. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section of this video.